What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Octagon Jordan, here on Election Day. And you know what? We all need a little getaway. We all need to let off a little steam. We got to start stop thinking about Trump. We got to stop thinking about Kamala Harris, the government. Fuck the government. We're here on YouTube. There's no rules. Look at MMA Guru's channel. Nobody gives a fuck about anything. So let's dive into Carlos the Nightmare Prates. El Cigarette Smoker himself. Ye? Yeah? And if we get, you know, in this video good enough, I'm going to light up one of these little funky, one of these little funny cigarettes for y'all. Okay? Carlos Prates is fighting Neil Magny this weekend at UFC Apex 100. Yeah, a lot of people are talking a little bit of shit on it. I like it. I like it. I don't give a fuck. I know Neil Magny is perpetually boring. You know, he's up there in age. His fight against Ian Gary, he sucked ass. He got leg kicked and he got crippled and he didn't do anything. His fight against uh, Gilbert Burns did nothing. Uh, Mike Malott? <laughs> okay, well, Mike Malott is Mike Malott. That's not Carlos Prates. So I figure we dive into some of Carlos Prates's, Carlos Prates highlights that I saw on Twitter today. Boy, are they vicious, brutal epic let's watch those let's react to those and then i'll give my prediction for the main event this weekend i like the main event carlos prates is exciting he's a young stud he's an up-and-comer only 31 years old neil magny yeah he's pretty fucking boring gatekeeper but you know what i always love seeing neil magny get his ass kicked i love it i love it so let's let's see what carlos prates brings to the table and let's react to it everybody get your beers get your smokes Get your funky cigarettes. Get your real cigarettes. Everyone needs a nice nicotine buzz. You know what I'm saying? Carlos Prates sure does. I'm sure he smokes a pack before the fight, after the fight, all night long, baby. We're diving in. Let's go. Prates versus Oliveira. Two versus one, it looks like. Let's take a look. Outra vez o low kick, Aí tentou aqui, ao mesmo instante, oh! oh! Sentiu, 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 entrou à direita, sentiu, vai terminar! Sadaman is bitch ass chair with a jab, okay. Guy probably sucks, this Oliveira guy, obviously. Bodybuilder type, you know, who knows what he's bringing to the table, but still. Tentou aqui, ao mesmo instante, oh! Sentiu, oh! Sentiu, oh! Piston, oh! piston jab. Guy gives up from a fucking jab. Sits him in his chair. Oh, I'm done. I'm done. Hey, you know, still a jack guy. Still a guy in shape. Signed up for MMA. Got his hands wrapped. Put the gloves on. Stepped in the octagon. Looks like he's ranked number one. Protez number two. So, <laughs> finished the motherfucker with a jab. Five round fight as well. Five round fight as well. Make sure everything's going as it should here. No, it's not. I never. Yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, boys. All right. Next up, we got Silva. Let's see how he does. No rankings, but still, five round fight. This looks like it's in the fifth round, potentially. UFA. Not sure what promotion that is, but let's see what Prates uh, does to this guy, Silva. <laughs> Jab. Over in left. Oh, 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 body shots! Oh, fuck! Ripping the fucking pod, baby! Ba, ba, ba! You wanna fucking bum a cigarette, dude, do you? Bo, bo, ba! Fucking bum this ass, bitch! Bum these fucking knuckles in your fucking head. Yeah, sit down, Silva. You never had a chance. You never had a fucking chance, you little tick. See what else we got. He's on wobbly feet right now. Prates versus Ramen. Ramon. Where's Pumbaa, bro? Ramon and Pumbaa. Where's he at? After this fight, I'm sure you went to the back and you started looking for Pumbaa. Lion King alert. Put the movie on. Let's sit down. Get the blanket. Get the popcorn. Because I'm not trying to fight no more. No, I don't want to smoke a cigarette with you. Prates just beat my ass. First round, two minutes left. Let's see how he gets it done here. Let's see. This guy's a dog. He's a tank. Cigarette smoking beast. Now, Max. One, two, now yeah. for Prates. Laser focus. Oh! 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 oh, my God. Oh! 
his laser fo- Lining him up with the fucking, you know, the distance control, the distance gauger. Uh, where you at? Where you at? Circle to the cage. Circle to the corner. Oh, you're going left. Boom! Shakalaka! You know what I'm saying? This guy never had a fucking chance. Going to the left. You're going to the left. Fucking eat that shin, boy. Eat that fucking shin, boy. One, two, now for Protest Laser. Oh, 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 good night. Oh, oh my oh, God. Protest takes the Protest win. Protest did it. Where's my fucking Bogues? Somebody toss in the old Bogues. Once this guy KOs Neil Magny, you're vicious. A real KO of Neil Magny. Just like they do in hockey or soccer with the hat trick. Hockey with the rats on the ice. We're throwing in Marlboro fucking Reds. 27's out the ass. You want some new ports, bitch? Newport 100s. Let's ride. 50 seconds. Roca, this big old fucking mongrel. Let's see what this guy's got. Oh, man. This guy was in for a rough night from the start. Look at his head. What? What? The stance here, buddy. Yeah, let me just square up and fucking just no movement in front of Prates. Let me just fucking square up here. Here, come on. Look at me fucking head. What's the strategy, Roca? Now I get what some people are going to say. Oh, he's fighting cans here on the regional scene. Okay, that's fair. But he just viciously brutalized the leech, Lee Jing Liang. Knocked out Trevin Giles. Viciously. Charles Radke, who has a couple wins in the UFC, was looking decent. Was getting a little hype under his name, Charles Radke. Fighting this weekend, actually, as well. KO'd him. Left in this first round. This guy's so fucking Whoa! slow. Oh my Whoa! god. Brates told him to get back. Oh Whoa! yeah. You want more? Oh, oh, he wants more. He wants more. He wants more. He wants more. That's it. And if he can get punches by Carlos Brates, thing to do with you, brother. Good punches by get back up. I don't want anything to do. Whoa! Whoa! Brates like get back up. Come on. We ain't doing this grappling nonsense. I ain't getting in your guard, you little fucking balding fuck. Come on, baby. Come stand up here square again. Let me let me use my moves on you. I've been practicing this all fucking week. And he decides, you know what? You know what? I'm going to Dominic Ray as Chris Weidman you right now. I'm going to Sugar Sean O'Malley, Aljamain Sterling you. You know what? I'm not even going to give you the fucking opportunity. You're not even going to get the opportunity. Because I'm going to bust your skull to the canvas. Brates told him to get back up. I don't want anything to do with brother. Bye. Bing, bing, bing. Carlos Brates. That's it. <laughs> bing, bing, bing. He protest the ball. Oh. Here we go, UFC. Okay. Good. Trevin Giles just fought this past weekend. Fought against Mike Malott. Went to the decision. Held his own in there. Held his own in there with Mike Malott. Still on the roster. Been on the roster for a while. I think he fought Dreykus Duplessis. He fought Eric Anders. He's fought a lot of guys. You know, he's still on the roster. Decent, decent, okay fighter. Giles is gonna oh! 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 That seems to be one of his moves. The left straight jab where it's not even really a jab because he reaches out. The guys think they're safe. They're like, oh, no, we're at a good distance. He's not in jabbing range. But he steps forward. He punches through. He's got long arms, and he catches you right on the chin. As soon as these guys think they're safe, they think they're safe. Oh, I'm not in jabbing range. You're not going to jab me. I'm, I'm far away. Oh, wait. I'm going to step in and fucking clock you. You can get protest of boxing. Oh, oh he thinks Giles he's good here. Oh, oh, you're not good. There's the left Giles hand. He's been sitting is out. Oh, my God. Piston like left. Woo-hoo. He is talking shite to Charles Radke. Yeah, you're going to drop the F-bomb slur, huh? What you going to do now when they put you in here with the nightmare? You want to smoke a fucking Newport? Here you go! I'm gonna smoke you, you little fuck! He's having fun in there, boys. These guys can't compete with this kid. We gotta put we gotta put someone in, uh, someone better in here. Neil Magny's got no chance. Neil Magny has no no chance. He's slow. He had nothing for Ian Gary. He had nothing for Gilbert Burns. Phil Rowe win. <laughs> Clinch fest. Fight sucked ass. Nobody won. Draw. Miserable. Cut both guys. He just fought Michael Morales, who might be a little bigger than Prates, but he doesn't have as crisp of striking. 
That's for sure. He doesn't have a, as clean of knockouts. That's for sure. He doesn't have the highlight reel that Protez has. Tell you that much. Look at Michael Morales' UFC run. Decision, Jake Matthews. Decision before that. Decision, decision, decision. Neil Magny's in for a rough one. He's just having fun with Radke. Yeah. Yelling in his face. Woo -hoo. Woo -hooh. Standing back. Oh. So we've seen a couple signature moves. We see the step in left, high knee, right to the liver. We've seen the outstretched jab, straight left or straight right. Not really even a jab because he's so long. Steps forward, Michael Chandler, Dan Hooker-esque, instead of a hook straight. He's got a couple signature moves, this, this motherfucker here. He does. And the one against Leach is the best one yet. Go back and watch that fight. Memorable, vicious, entertaining, surprising, crazy. Crazy. Leach wasn't fucking moving. Charles Radke, not so tough now, are you, bro? You're tough on the mic. You ain't so tough now, are you? Oh, God. Piston like left. Oh, look at him. Standing back. Oh, there he is. Buckles him with a body shot. Oh, with a with a it. That's it. And now it is. Leach. Ever since Leach wore that fly ass suit, you know, for UFC 278 or whatever it was when he was supposed to fight Tony Ferguson, and then he ended up fighting Daniel Rodriguez D Rod, and he got robbery decision and took the L, and then he hurt his spine. He's been out for two years. He was out for two years before this, Leach was. <clears throat> got robbed of a decision. From Daniel Rodriguez, old ass, boring ass Daniel Rodriguez, who was 10 pounds heavier at 180. Leach weighed in at 170. Supposed to fight the dead body of Tony Ferguson. He fights D Rod, who's 10 pounds heavier, and gets robbed. Gets completely robbed. Hurts his spine. Hurts his fucking spine. Herniated disc. Whatever the case may be. I, I'm not, I forget exactly what the injury was. I know it was serious. He comes back, UFC, UFC says, here you go, Leach. Here, you know, we did you wrong in the past. You had that fly-ass outfit. You were starting to get a little bit of traction with the fan base. You were starting to get a little bit of social media attention, a little bit of a following. We're trying to build the Chinese market. So here's the nightmare, Carlos Prates, to put your fucking lights out and change your life and put you down on the canvas for 10 minutes, scaring the shit out of everybody. Here you go. Hey, congratulations, Leach. Great suit. Great suit, my guy. Here you go. Brain damage for your troubles. Insane. Shot oh, with with it. It. That's it. And now it is. <laughs> woo, woo, woo. Bow. Oh. The sound, man. The sound of that just oh, vibrates through your fucking bones. God, that was flush. It was vicious. Just vicious. <laughs> Fuck, and he's down. <laughs> Ref, he's down. <laughs> Fuck. And the leech is still down. That's what Daniel Corbin. The leech, he's still down. Is he good? Is he always waking up? Thank God. There you go, leech. Welcome back to the UFC. So you want to be a fighter, huh, leech? Might be time to retire. So, yeah, who we got this weekend? And people might look, oh, Carlos Prates, 20 and 6. Oh, you know, who's he losing to? That's. That's not really that good. All right, well, let's let's look at his recent streak. Let's check it out. Let's take a look. Li Jing Liang, formidable fighter. Been in the UFC forever, has some big wins. Killed him. Left hook, round two, we just saw it. Charles Radke, 9-2 before this. Had some steam under his name. Had some following with the fan base. Was getting some hype. Destroyed him, round one. Made him keel over and give up. Trevin Giles, a veteran in the UFC. Went pretty far with Dreykus 2 plus E. Straight left. You're done. You're looking up at the lights. Google the eyes. Oh, what's happening? Oh, what's my name? Tri Trevin Giles? <coughs> Mitch Ramirez. Oh, my God. Contender series. Mitch Ramirez, I hope you got a better, you know, couple matchups after this, brother. That's a tough-ass contender series match. So, I know you were 7-0, man, but, you know, that, that's tough. Eduardo Ramon. Ramon. Oh, we watched that one. Head kick. 21-7 and seven for Ramon. <laughs> Destroyed. 
head kick ground and pound. Charles Oliveira. Now, that's a different Charles Oliveira. That's not the one we're thinking of. But still, an, a guy named Charles Oliveira, 8-3. and three. I'm sure he's Brazilian. Probably looks up to the real Charles Oliveira. That's a good win. Let's see what this guy looks like. Does he look like anything like Charles Oliveira? Charles One Punch Oliveira. No, he does not. Guy's ugly as my butt. Looks like, I don't know. I don't even want to say it. Nothing. It looks He's ugly. Ugly dude. Looks nothing like the Bronx. But, hey, you know what? Charles Oliveira nonetheless. Charles Oliveira nonetheless. Look, Charles Oliveira. Round one, rear naked choke. Round one, guillotine. Round one, punches. Round one, punches. Round one, punches. Round one, punches. Not against Carlos Prates. You're going to get fucked. So he's got a win over Charles Oliveira. Who thunk it? Who would have thought? His last loss was in 2019, five years ago, a decision against this guy. I don't know who this guy is. He's some Russian guy. Grapple, probably grapple fucked him. Grapple fucked him, I'm sure. How has this guy not been on Contender Series yet? Has a win, a unanimous decision over Carlos Prates. Then he fought this guy won, then left hook this guy. He was 0-0. Zero and zero. So you're going to go from winning over Carlos Prates, UFC contender, to fighting an 0-0 guy, and then fighting a 12-14 and 14 guy. See, that's what I mean when some of these guys are just mismanaged. Some of these guys are mismanaged. You have a win over Carlos Prates. You have a great record. Get your ass on Contender Series. Get your manager in touch with Dana. What are you fucking doing fighting an O and O guy, a twelve and fourteen guy? What are you doing? Trying to be Habib Nurmagomedov, build up to twenty three and O before you get to the UFC. It's not the move. And then the rest of these were just that was a Muay Thai fight. This one was twenty fourteen. That's ten years ago. And when it, when Prates was twenty one years old, rear naked choke, probably a grappler. I mean, he's twenty one years old at this point, just learning how to fight. Another choke, heel hook. You know, this was eleven years ago. It's a completely different ball game. The guy was twenty, not even built into his body yet. Not even didn't even have the grown man strength. Well, guess what? He's got it now. Ask Leach. Ask Charles Radke. Ask Trevin Giles. Is he strong enough? Leech takes people down. That's why. Why the fuck you think they call him the leech? Because he leeches on, he latches on. Charles Radke, I'm pretty sure he held his first opponent when the crowd was booing him when he dropped the f bomb slur. Pretty sure he held his first opponent on the ground and up against the fence and used grappling and control. It's not like these are fucking strikers out here. Neil Magny. Neil Magny, not really a grappler, not really a striker. He's a clinch guy. He's a clinch, you know, wear you out, cardio guy. That's how he beat Mike Malott, ground and pound with 15 seconds left. He was losing the entire fight, lost the first two rounds, was losing the third round up until 30 seconds when he got on top of Mike Malott. Mike Malott gassed his ass out. Yeah, Neil Magny's got good cardio. He's a veteran. He knows some veteran tricks of the trade in there. Guess who didn't gas out? Ian Gary. Guess who was stronger and faster than Neil Magny? Ian Gary. Guess who's uh, just as good a striker as Ian Gary? Carlos Prates. Not sure about the grappling, but you just got to stay out of the clinch. Phil Rowe, you fucking dummy. You don't dive into the clinch. That was the most boring fight of all time. Phil Rowe versus Neil Magny. The clinch fest. Could have given it to either guy. He didn't even win that fight. Gilbert Burns destroyed him. Destroyed him. D-Rod... I'll give it to Neil Magny. Solid win there over D-Rod. Darsh choked third round. But we all know D-Rod's near and 40 years old. He's washed up. All he does is box. He doesn't kick. He doesn't grapple. He has no jujitsu. Hey, who say he ain't got no jujitsu? D-Rod's one-dimensional. Old head. Cool. You're losing to the top guys. You're losing to Michael Chiesa. You're losing to a Shavkat Rachmaninoff. You're losing to a Gilbert Burns. You're getting smoked by an Ian Gary. You're getting worked by a Michael Morales. I'm excited for this fight. I can't I can't wait to see the brutalizing, the brutality that Nightmare Prates brings to the cage. I want to see Neil Magny get his ass kicked. Something about him forcing me to watch these clinch fests, these fucking decisions, these boring ass press conferences. I just want to see Neil Magny bleed. Is that does that make me a bad guy? 
Does that make me a bad guy? Let me know in the comments if that makes me a bad guy. But that's what I want to see. Carlos Prates is the truth. Fighting nerds are here to stay. This guy is a different level of striker. You know, he hasn't been taken down yet. Obviously, he had some submission losses earlier in his career, 10 years ago when he was 21. Now he's 31. I think he's coming on. I think this guy's coming on. I think he's going to get a highlight reel KO over our boy Neil. And he's going to smoke a whole fucking pack of Marble Reds afterward. He's going to enjoy himself. It's simple is what simple does, baby. And that's what it is. We're not all cookie cutters out here. Oh, you know, uh, I feel great. We'll see you on Saturday. Oh, it was a good fight. Yeah, respect to my opponent. I can't wait. Whatever the UFC gives me. <laughs> no. No, 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 We want to stand out. And that's what Carlos Prates brings to the octagon, to the fight game, and to the UFC. And I can't wait for it. So you know what? Let's spark up Carlos Prates. All day, baby. All day.